Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starlord and today I wanted to talk a little bit about cut content from Fallout 4 and whether we will actually see it in the last DLC, Nuka World. Now, of course you all know by now that the Nuka World trailer it was revealed the other day and a lot of gameplay was actually shown, but of course they're not going to show off everything, you know, they've got a lot of things up their sleeves and I'm kind of wondering whether some of the cut content from, you know, the actual base game, will it make its way into Nuka World? So, I want to start off with a couple of pictures and why I think possibly they could show up in this DLC. Okay, so the first picture I want to talk about is the one on screen right now, and as you can see, it has a lot of Institute designs, but you will probably notice that one little design right there didn't make it into the base game or any of the DLCs so far, and that is the Institute power armor. This is official concept art from the, the fellas over at Bethesda and holy crap that looks amazing and it kind of looks a bit familiar too if I do say so myself. So if you actually look on screen right now here is a screenshot of the trailer in which we saw a guy being powered up into this brand new suit and although this suit looks very trailer trash and shit like that it kind of looks familiar if I just put them by side by side right now. You can see they do have a little bit of a similarity. You know, there's no little headpiece. It is all just one big torso. And I don't know. Personally, I think there may be a little bit of a storyline behind this armor. Maybe, you know, maybe the Raiders actually got it from, I don't know, the Institute in some kind of way. I, I really don't know. But, you know, this is all good. We're all speculating here. And, um, you know, you cannot deny that that looks very similar to the concept art of the Institute Power Armor. So, yeah, I'm hoping that there is a bit of a backstory behind that, you know, voltage kind of power suit that that guy is getting into in the trailer. So, um, yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comments. Now moving on to a very obvious one, which is the one on screen right now, and as you can see, there is a lot of concept designs for the Nuka-Cola vending machine and Nuka-Cola itself, but right there in the top middle, you see a Nuka-Cola weapon, of course, that is the Nuka-Cola Blaster or the Nuka Blaster, and people have made mods of this, it's been a very popular mod on the Nexus, but we've yet to see it in the base game of Fallout, and honestly, there would be no better time than the present to actually add this in to the game and holy crap would that be amazing to actually use in the game. Now I am actually talking before any of the leaks uh, show up here guys so if there is any leaks you know don't ruin it for people in the comment section. I don't actually know myself as I am recording this after the betas only just went out um, but you know still. Nuka Cola, that blaster would be absolutely amazing to use. I don't know whether it would spray some kind of like acidy cola, maybe? I, I really don't know. Maybe something to do with the quantum uh, Nuka Cola, which would be pretty cool, you know? Or maybe we could actually just fuse all of the flavors together, like that achievement says create more than 20 flavors, and you can actually maybe add the Nuka Colas into your inventory, kind of like the junk launcher or whatever it's called. And maybe, you know, it'll use whatever that uh, ammunition is. That'd be pretty cool, to be honest. Now, um, I definitely would like to see this in the game. I would really like to see this in the game, even if it was something novelty. I don't know. But, yeah, pretty cool, guys. Let's move on to the next picture. So this one may not be very good or anything like that. It may just be me going too much into it, I guess. I don't know. But here we have Nat and... You know, Nat is Piper's sister, and she looks very different from the actual base game, you know? She looks kind of like... I, I don't really know. She kind of looks like an Ewok out of Star Wars, to be honest. But there is two things that really stand out to me here, is, you know, the golf club. I would love to see a golf club in this game. As far as I'm aware, there was a golf club in New Vegas. I could be wrong, though. I haven't played it for a long, long time. But a golf club would be amazing in this game, but then again, I am just a huge fan of melee weapons. But also, it's not only that. I'm looking at the lunchbox right now, and it does look very familiar. In the Nuka World DLC trailer, we actually saw a Nuka World lunchbox, and it was red similar to this. I cannot really see what the little logo design is on the side of the concept art there, but I'm thinking, you know, Nuka World, it's a theme park. 
it would very much make sense to actually take Nat along with you. Maybe Nat, like, comes up to you and she's like, hey, there's a theme park, it's opening up, and, you know, something like that, you know, integrate it, because, you know, she is, like, one of the only kids that are really in the storyline of this game, and, you know, she never really had a big part, and Piper is such a huge part of the companion system, I thought maybe, you know, you could tag along with her and Piper, in this little quest. I don't know guys, tell me what you think. If it's just stupid, then fair dues. But still, I think that would be pretty cool. Lastly, we did see a whole lot of new creatures in this DLC and that got me very excited. But there was one missing from the trailer. One very familiar one that we have seen in a earlier Fallout 4 game or a Fallout game even. So this is of course the Senator, I believe is the way you pronounce it. If it's not, Fuck me over all you want, guys. But here it is right here. It's some kind of mutated mess. I can't really remember what the story is behind this thing. But as you can see, this is the Fallout 4 concept art of that creature. And obviously, it's kind of vomiting this kind of, I don't know, brownie mixture. And when I immediately saw this, once I saw that the Nuka World... Dot .esm was in the actual game files, I thought, holy crap, this is where they're going to introduce this creature. Maybe that vomit thing is actually Nuka-Cola, and that you can find it in the lake in Nuka World, or something like that, you know? But I would very much like to see these return into this Fallout franchise, and they are just creepy as hell. They look absolutely insane right there. Uh, of course, the Senators from the earlier games were a little bit different, but that concept art right now, that scares the shit out of me. And yeah, it looks really, really cool. I would love to see that in the game. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for all the concept art that we haven't really seen in this Fallout game so far. And I would love to see these things go into the actual, you know, last DLC. Tell me what you guys think. I know it's kind of fun to speculate about these things. And please do remember that some people may have not seen spoilers, me including. And uh, by the time I upload this, it'll probably be tomorrow so yeah there will probably be a lot of leaks by then so please kind of keep it under wraps guys speculate all you want and tell me do you think some of my ideas was a bit crazy stupid i don't know and until next time i've been star lord uh see ya and we're here to make sure you have f u n fun during your time at the park what if there was a place with all the super nuka